The FusionWare MVLinks Managed Provider is a pure .NET managed provider and can be used in applications that support connections to ADO.NET data sources. This demonstration will show our managed provider being used by Microsoft SQL Server Reporting Services, or SSRS for short. Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 Reporting Services provides a complete server-based platform designed to support a wide variety of reporting needs, enabling organizations to deliver relevant information where needed across the entire enterprise. We will be using the same sales order multi-value file we used in our SQL Server Integration Services demonstration. SSRS uses Visual Studio 2008 to develop reports, but don't be worried, we won't be writing any code. We will use the Report Server Project Wizard under the Business Intelligence Projects section that was installed when you installed SQL Server Reporting Services tools. Because we are basing our report on the same sales order multi-value file we used with integration services, we'll just name our report Sales Order Report. In SQL Server Reporting Services, we select the type of connection we will be using. Note that the FusionWare Reporting Services provider is shown alongside SQL Server, Oracle, SAP, and many others. When we define data sources in SQL Server Reporting Services, we use the same connection strings we use with Visual Basic, C Sharp, or Integration Services. We will connect to the ShipCorp account. Making this a shared data source will come in handy later on. For a command, we can use the same command syntax we use in other places that use the managed provider. We could call MV basic programs, TCL commands, or in this case, just a file. Because SSRS does not understand multivalues, we use a function included with the MVLinks managed provider that will unnest the file automatically. We can even include a select statement to filter the data. If we chose, we could add a parameter to the select and add more dynamic reports. The Report Server Wizard provides a few formatting options. You can select to create a standard tabular report or a matrix or crosstab type report. We want to create a report that will tell us how many products have been ordered for any given day along with the breakdown of those orders by product. To do this we'll need to group on the order date and product ID. Piece of cake with the table design step. When defining the table layout, we can choose to have the wizard automatically include subtotals. The other important option here is to enable drill down. If this option is enabled, the report would be collapsed by default and you could drill down into details as you wish. If you want to dress things up a bit, select one of the six included table styles. This step is used to define where you want the reports deployed to. For development, this step need not be completed and the information can be provided later. The name of the report will automatically be used in the header of the report. We will call this the Sales Order Report, but as with everything else, it can be changed later with little trouble. Here we have our completed report. As with most wizards, the resulting report is a great starting point. Obviously, we will need to do some things to this report so that it provides the information we want the way we want it. When we preview the report, the development environment will use the MVLinks managed provider to fetch the data directly from the multi-value file, giving us a preview of exactly what the report will look like when rendered in a browser on the server. There are several things we need to do. First, we want to make the date more readable. We do this by merging some cells together and changing the formatting of the date to something easier to read. Notice there's lots of different kinds of formatting that's available to us, for date, time, numbers, and text. Next, we don't really need totals for the pricing, so we will remove them. We do want to know the prices at the product level, so we will add just the field to the product group line. We'll also need to do some formatting so that the coloring is correct. 
The Report Builder provides lots of different formatting options from font changes to fore and background colors to borders and shading. Lastly, we are looking for totals for each product and day, so also don't need the detail lines. It's easy to hide the detail by just changing the visibility property. As we want totals by product, it would be nice to display the proper product description along with the product ID. We do this by adding another data set to our report data. We can use that shared data source we defined in the report wizard and this time, for the command, we only need to identify the name of the file, product, that will contain the information we need. SSRS will take care of the lookup for us. Notice that the new dataset appears and shows us the column names automatically that have been retrieved from the multivalue database. As SSR reports can only be based on a single dataset, we're going to add another column to our report and then edit it to point to the data in the second data set. We will drag and drop the column field into our report creating the new column. We can then go in and edit the expression for this field and use the built-in function lookup to find the description in the secondary data set. The lookup function simply takes a field from the primary dataset and looks up against a field in the secondary name dataset and returns the named column, in our case, description, as a value that will be placed in our column. SSRS has many built-in functions and you can browse them using the category browser in the lower right corner. Note the common function section. Using this method to build the expression requires much less typing. It's time for us to preview the report once again. Note the description field shows the description with the product file. SSRS reports can be easily exported to PDF and Excel files along with other formats. We want to add one more element to our report. It would be nice to have a pie chart in our report letting us know the quantities ordered during any particular month. Fortunately, SSRS has many built-in tools for doing this with managed providers. The MVLINKS managed provider will be compatible with included data aware controls and tools along with third-party tools as well. We are going to add a chart control to our report. You can see there are many different kinds built in. We want a pie chart in this case. We assign columns from one of our data sets to the value sets and category sets for the pie chart. Selecting values is as simple as clicking on the selection menus. It shows us the connection, then data sets, then all the fields in those data sets. We want to use quantity ordered for the values, the thing we want totaled. Next, we will select the date order placed for the categories or pie slices. Later, we'll fine-tune the date so we only slice on months rather than every single day. Inside the category group properties we can fine-tune the values that will actually be used for each slice, the name of each slice, and lastly the sorting of the pie and legend. We do this once again with expressions. This allows us to use common functions like month name and month to change the data output. In this case we want the month name to be in the legend and each month to be a pie slice rather than every day. For sorting we only want to use the month number. Fortunately there is easy to use functions for both of these needs. You should notice that once the data set has been defined right at the beginning all the report design work is completely independent of any multi-value knowledge. You would create the report the same if the data source were SQL Server, Oracle, DB2 or any other database. It's now time to preview our report for the last time. The top part of the report looks just as it did before. The pie chart is at the bottom of the report where we placed it and it shows all 12 months and their relative sizes in the chart. 
we could have added values or any number of other formatting options to this or any other chart. Other than the initial setup of the command text, I needed to know nothing more than standard report server techniques to create this multi-part report, and it only took 10 minutes. Because the MVLinks managed provider is built on standards for the .NET framework, it's designed to be multi-purpose. You can build a Windows application with VB.NET that uses Windows and third-party controls one day, the next you can build a website in ASP.NET or Silverlight, or even a transformation with SQL Server integration services using the same connections, methods, and tools. Thank you for viewing our SQL Server Reporting Services demonstration using the FusionWare MVLinks Managed Provider and Reporting Services Provider. No code or special tools were required. Nothing but .NET.